You might not agree with everything Pauline Hanson has to say, but it's hard to ignore her plea to fix the family court, where parents and children often suffer through expensive and traumatic legal fights that can drag on for years. I just think that we haven't got it right. I think it needs a complete overhaul. She's been trying for years and finally Pauline Hanson has got what she wants, an inquiry into the family court system. Now, when you're a Member of Parliament and you've got people pulling you up, you might even be doing your shopping and people are trying to express to you how they feel about it or they may be on the edge. It's awfully hard. Do you think I can walk away from that? I can't. When it comes to the family court, the delays and the costs are appalling. As a child, I met with every person in the family law system and I hated it. I've had 16 court appearances in 17 months, all at the cost of $70,000. Earlier this year, we brought you the stories of people's anger at the system, told by actors because we can't identify anyone involved in family court matters. I can honestly say dealing with the family law system was worse than coping with my divorce. I've spent about eight years in the family law courts and it's cost me about 100 grand. We also heard from former Federal Circuit Court Judge Stephen Scarlett. Is the family court system broken? It's not broken, but it is seriously wounded and it's under a huge amount of pressure. And former family court judge Peter Rose QC. And do you think all this is leading to grief in the community? Yes, without a doubt. So, Chris, we've heard about um, domestic violence orders brought against, you know, partners. That is untrue, there's lies being told. You know, people have their own self-interest, but it really, at the end of the day, is it right on the other parent? Is it right for the children? I don't think it is, and it needs to be called out for what it is. Pauline's comments about people lying about domestic violence aroused a storm of protest and calls for Pauline to be cut out of the inquiry, but the senator doesn't care. I don't care what those people say to me. Actually, I've been proven to, to be right in what I've said. So I'm going to stick by my guns. I will see this through. I'm a professional man. I run my own business. I've never been in trouble with the law. All of a sudden, I'm called up in family court over a domestic violence charge. It wasn't true, but it took over nine months to get the case dismissed. I've seen people throw what can only be described as absolute tantrums in court. Um, I've seen people taking a really mean approach to their other partner, especially when dealing with children. It takes two to make a child and I just believe that that child has a right to have a mum and a dad in their life and grandparents and an extended family and it's a shame that their differences can't be settled and I just feel that the courts aren't getting it right. The Senate inquiry will consider a wide range of issues and Pauline Hanson, who will co-chair the inquiry, wants to hear from people who've been through the process. They're now going to extend submissions up to the 30th of January. But I would suggest people out there to put in your submissions, you know, in your own words. It's, it's not a complex, complicated form. Um, have your say. Um, you may be, have the opportunity to get before the committee. You'll find the form on the Federal Parliament website. It asks a series of questions about what people think of the system, including the cost of families and the impact on children. And it asks if you want to give your evidence in person. We talk about the rights of the child, but a lot of parents feel that the rights of the child has been denied. Insiders say the family law system is sinking under the weight of a backlog of cases. At the end of last year, it was estimated there were 20,000 cases waiting to be heard. That means that families are having to wait up to five years to have bitter custody and property disputes resolved in court. Lawyers are telling women exactly what to do to cause the maximum amount of pain on fathers in the hope that they would give up. Look, Chris, we're wanting to go to every state and territory in the country. We want to take it to every capital city and regional areas. Let's hear from the everyday Australians and that's, that's what I want to achieve out of this and let them feel as if someone is truly listening to them. 
And submissions to the inquiry can be made anonymously, if you wish. The link is on our homepage. And the findings will be handed down in October.